Hey guys, truck driver Russ here. How's it going? Today we're going to be uh, rebuilding the uh, Trident Clone RDA using 28 gauge Canthal and we're going to be making a micro coil. We're going to build it, wick it, juice it up, and vape it. Right down there. Here we go. Okay, here we are, we're back. And today we've got the uh, RDA on the uh, iTaste MVP. One of my preferred mods for right now. All right, we're gonna break her down, build this coil, and vape away. Take the drip tip off, take the cap off, and there we have the deck. Okay. Today we're going to be using a uh, 6 to 8 inch piece of 28 gauge Canthal. I don't know if you can see it real well. Here it is. And we're going to do 10 wraps today. Um, either get a uh, 564th drill bit or something equivalent which I like to use this screwdriver to uh, that way I can squeeze the coils together when I'm done uh, wrapping her okay make sure you leave your lead kinda long down there okay here we go One, two, three. Four, five. You want to make sure you get these uh, coils as close together as possible, and don't overlap them. Otherwise, you'll you'll have problems, get hot spots. Okay. And you want these leads to go the same way. Both going down there. What we're going to do is we're going to let me focus this down here just a little further here. You want to squeeze these coils together. Sit there and hold it. Put a little light so there we go. Put a little light on the subject there. See how they're kind of separated there? You take your fingernails and thumbnail and push them together and get as tight as you can. Try to get these, uh, try to get your leads here. The coil leads is as straight as possible if you can okay take this off here and here's your RDA now we're gonna stick the uh, long lead here in the negative post and the short one in the positive post make sure these are turned out good enough And what I like to do is I like to take the drill bit, put it in there. Kind of helps. Kind of helps uh, stabilize it a little bit. 
And once you get it set to where you need it, I always take and put my finger down and then tighten your uh, tighten your connections down. But make sure you don't tighten them too tight because you can break that canthal wire, that 28 gauge. Just snug her down. And once you get her snug down, lift her up just a little bit here. You can move her over. That's a great thing about canthal. It's pretty uh, flexible. And once I get that done, I take the wires, bend them up a little bit. Just a little bit here. And we're going to clip these leads. I always use uh, fingernail clippers. They seem to work pretty good. All right. Once you get to where you where you want it, hit that fire button. See the hot spots. See that? That's not what you want. Take a pair of pliers or tweezers, whatever you prefer. I prefer these little pliers here. They're pretty precision. Take and squeeze them coils together. Fire up again. Take and squeeze them together again. What you want is you want that coil to glow from the inside out. See how it's starting to glow from the inside out? That's what you want. Just take and put a little bit of pressure on her. Let it sit. There we go. Look at that. That looks good. Looking good. Okay, before I go too for too much further, I want to check the resistance on this. Let's see if I can do this without one point six pretty good okay I was hoping around 1.4 to 1.6 that's fine <coughs> all right next we're gonna grab a piece of organic cotton I like to use cotton and we're gonna make a wick here for it and we're gonna take and twist this up in your fingers and then we're going to wick this bad boy up slide that baby through pull her through and what I like to do I like to give her just a little bit of a twist just like that you want it loose see how loose that is like that Okay, and then what I like to do is I like to take uh, take this tail. I like to wrap it around this post here, shove it down, and then I like to take my uh, surgical scissors here, give her a snip, and then take this tail. And shove that underneath there just like that all 
All right. Well, today I'm going to be vaping on some uh, root beer float that I made up. Start putting some juice on her. Now these wicks, when you get juice on this cotton, uh, you can mold that cotton just about wherever you want to. And uh, that cotton will swell up a little bit. It will expand a little bit. And what I like to do is I like to take this, uh, this cap can be kind of a pain in the butt. I like to take the cap and I like to put just a little bit of juice in there. And then run some around this, these uh, O-rings. It helps this cap slide on a little easier. Now what you want to do is, since we're running a single coil today, I got one hole open and then I got the other one blocked off. For a single coil this is and what you want to do is you want to put that air hole close to where that coil is where this coil is so what I like to do is I like to turn this around here put that cap back on Put your drip tip back on. We're gonna take the camera back up. We're gonna vapor and we're gonna talk about it. Okay, we're back. All right, we got her on the uh, MVP. And I got this MVP set at 11 watts. It's the highest it can go. And we're gonna vapor. Oh yeah, vapor production's there. It's got good flavor. I really like. Uh, it's kind of harsh at first to me. That's just me. When you first start out, <coughs> but uh, once you uh, once you get a couple, uh, you know, vapes off of it, it it seems to. Uh, calm down a little bit and don't burn your throat so much I'm just just now getting into uh, doing uh, lung hits I used to be uh, nothing but mouth the lung but uh, since I uh, got this RDA I'm starting to really like the uh, like the lung hits a little bit here we go Oh yeah, that's good. Root beer float. Made that up myself. <coughs> well, that's how you build the uh, Trident RDA with a uh, 1.6 ohm micro coil. Vapor on 11 watts. Until next time, this is Truck Driver Russ. You guys have a good day.